William Gomez versus Jarnal Aarons. I have it Gomez by 29-28. Two rounds to one. Yeah. William's the winner. They said they're both they were both previous sparring partners. And it deeply showed in this fight because they it this fight looked like a very competitive win it all sparring match. So what that means is that they were on the inside, they were throwing the little punches were landing, they're like, mm, okay, good fight, okay, I'll I'll trade one with you, okay, good. You know, that kind of sparring match. And the big punches, they know each other so much. They they so much that they do that in sparring matches and if someone throws the big punches, you could easily dodge it because you know each other's ticks. Because you're sparred so much that you know almost every movement that you could, both of you do. And that's what happened in this fight. They both knew so much of each other that they knew what they were doing. And it was kind of a, um, what do you call it? a mood point. A standoff that was completely balanced. And William, I don't know, he just won the fight through sheer determination and forward pressure and the grappling takedowns, you know. He changed it up enough from the sparring match that it, it was that he won the fight. In the third round, Aaron's threw up this triangle choke in the last minute. It was so deep and so tight. I thought he was going to win the fight, but no, Gomez pulled it through, hung in there, and just let, he let go because he was tired of the triangle choke. He, it was close to finishing it. So close. Yeah, but anyway, Gomez won, and yeah, it was just a competitive sparring match that the whole world saw. Though, definitely what I saw, anyway. Yeah, that's it. Just, I don't know what else to say about this these fighters. They didn't really impress me. I don't, I'm not fascinated by these two characters. I'm just like, nah. Show me much more in the next fight, because this fight, you just like... Had a sparring match that was on the major main stage everybody saw.